I don't know what it is about an overcast, kind of drizzly day that I love. That gets me in the mood to go thrifting. I don't know, I just like the way it feels. And hopefully, you know, usually it means a lot of people aren't in the thrift store. So I do love a rainy day to go thrifting. I have a couple places I want to take us to. In our last video, I shared everything that sold for February and how much we have to play with for the month of March. And we are starting off with the month of March with $200. Now that sounds like a lot of money, but we have to make it stretch through the whole month of March. And I usually go out twice a week thrifting. So you do the math. The math doesn't add up. So let's finish our coffee, put on our raincoat, and enjoy a rainy day of thrifting with me. It is a really nice overcast today i don't know what it is but i love a good rainy day well you know just drizzling not pouring down but usually it doesn't mean a lot of people are here at the thrift stores but i think everybody's thinking the same thing because it looks like there's quite a few people here all right we're going to head in the back see what kind of hard goods that they have last time i was here they had a little bit of linens i don't think they have very much Whenever I look for quilts to resell, I want something that has like the granny squares, usually like in the black. I'll pop some on the screen to give you examples. This one's okay, but I do look for things that really stand out that are very unique when it comes to Afghans and quilts and just not seeing that here today. That's very interesting. Is that like a little salt cellar? except there's three compartments. I don't know what that is. All right, this has caught my attention. Looks like a ram, $3. Let's see who made this. Made in Italy, Vietri. Hmm. We have to comp this and look it up. I'm not finding anything exactly like this, but the name looks really good. So I think for $3, we're gonna pick this baby up. Okay, and I found another, I guess it's pronounced Vietri, Vietri. Vietri, Vietri. The more you know. Made in Italy, and it looks like you can even hang it maybe. So that's a really good design, especially like for Thanksgiving, $3. We're gonna throw this in the basket too. This is interesting, made in Japan, occupied Japan for a dollar. Has a little B on there, little, I guess it looks like, to me it looks like little shamrocks. Could be wrong. All right, I'm gonna have to look this up too. And it's only a dollar. This is how our basket is looking so far. We've been here maybe 10 minutes, so we're doing really, really great. Really, really great. I like this hat. There is a little bit of staining on the front, $2. But it's got a really beautiful look to it. All right, here is how little the store is. It's not very big. And right now there's only a couple of us in here at the moment. But they do have really great prices. And it's a church thrift store, so the money goes for outreach programs, which is really awesome. And we're gonna look through my favorite section, the men's section. Today, all of their winter clothes are only a dollar. I haven't really gotten to the winter clothes just yet in here. I'm also interested in looking over at the jewelry. I brought my jewelry loop with me. I really wanna get into understanding or learning more about jewelry. These are real diamonds, right? I know you can find some awesome pieces to resell. I don't know a lot about jewelry. So that is another category I really want to learn more about. Now this is where I found the 101 Dalmatians button up that sold for $32. That was such a great score. And the lady left me a comment and said she was gonna be wearing it to Disneyland. New shirt. <laughs> oh, how sweet is that? And I'm so glad I found it, a good home. And that's what I think about whenever I go into the thrift store. I'm looking at these items thinking, okay, this needs to go to a good home. Just a shirt. <laughs> so I feel like I am just putting items where they belong into the right hands of people. I know that sounds a little <laughs> kooky or sentimental or whatever else. I would rather see it go to someone who's been looking for something like that, you know, instead of it ending up in the landfill. Oh, 
Okay. She did say everything is a dollar. The clothing is a dollar. I've already went through all of these shirts here, found a few. Now I'm going to quickly go through the jeans. I did look over at the jewelry. They really didn't have much to choose from. And then I think we'll look at the shoes. All right, I finally made my way over to the shoes. I did find a few more items, just clothing items. The shoes I don't think really are too expensive here. I think they're, okay, they're $3 and up. There's only a couple of us in here at the moment, so it's been a little easier to go through everything. I did go through all the shoes. I did find one pair of shoes. I went through the jewelry, didn't see anything. They really don't have a lot to choose from, and I don't really know that much about jewelry to start with, so it made it very easy. I think this is going to do it for us, so we're going to head to another store. Okay, here are the sales. Clothing, 75% off boutique, 25. Shoes, 25. Houseware, 75. This Thursday and Friday only. Those are like some knockoff Timberlands. <laughs> are those Timberlands? Housewares are 75% off today. Maybe we can find some good stuff like we did at the other place. Now that's really cool. Artisans. Ballasters. Ballastries fires. What is this? It's intriguing me. What is this? Is it for olive oil? All right, we're going to have to look this up. It is fascinating me. That is so beautiful. $20 for the whole set is just my cost, so nothing really spectacular. $20, no, I don't want to ship plates, so we're going to put them back, but I do like looking at them. Interesting. I don't see a maker's mark. It looks a little different than this one. I don't know. And they do have a little bit of markage on them. $8, $8 for the set. Oh gosh, all I need to do is break them. <laughs> I don't really see anything spectacular about them. Who knows, I may be passing up on something that's worth a million dollars. Those are pretty. Yeah, made in China. Pretty, but they're made in China. I know nothing about glass, except if it's pretty or not. That's about the extent of my knowledge. Okay, that's interesting. Is a glass... Is that a dolphin? <laughs> Maybe. 250 that's not bad i don't see any chips i don't feel any chips yeah i think we'll just put him in the cart what, what is that what are you doing with your hands so i used google lens on this it looks like it's from pier one it's not really going for a lot someone has one 15 dollars nine dollars really not going for a lot of money it is five or 75 percent off so not really worth picking up you can see they have a ton of glass and like I said, I don't really know anything, nothing <laughs> to be exact about glass. The one thing about me and the items I sell, I don't stick to just one category. I will sell whatever will make me money. Well, seriously, I can sell anything. Because I am interested in just so many different things that I don't really keep myself, you know, um, pitch and hold into one category. I love learning about different things. I love selling different things. I just like, I like variety, I guess you could say. I, don't, I couldn't stick to just clothing or just hard goods or just electronics. I like everything. I'm looking at some of the yarn because I know some yarn can go for really good money. Mohair, wool, things like that. These are very inexpensive. I'm not seeing anything that really jumps out at me. I may scan some of these just to see if any of them register on eBay to see if they're worth anything.
And now we're going to look at some of my favorite items, belts. <laughs> They're easy to ship. They're very inexpensive and you can make a good profit on them. I do look for reptile. I look for leather. I look for things that have a heavy belt buckle on them and things that are unique. I won't just pick up any old belt, but I do enjoy looking through them. If you find Banana Republic and you see those three little dots, that means it's from the outlet. So it's not as high quality as actual Banana Republic, but that's always something to look out for. The dots means an outlet. All right, here is what the cart is looking like so far. We have some clothes in here. We have some beautiful home decor. I still have quite a few racks to go through, but with 75% off, I really want to go through the racks, see if I find anything fantastic. I'm telling you, we have been hitting score after score today. Love days like this. I am finding so many deals with 75% off. That thrift store, the first one, and this one is really paying off. What is this? It's pretty, you hang it up, but it looks like a bottle. What is this? Right here is how the cart looks so far. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm going to just find a little corner somewhere and go through everything, because as I'm throwing it in the cart, I may not be paying enough attention, so we're gonna give it a little bit more attention to detail to see what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna leave. I'm over here where there's a good light, because I have taken things home before not notice their defects and then can't sell them. Even though I do sell some things with defects, I always let the buyer know, I always put it in the description of the item, but I would rather have things that are flawless. How beautiful is that blue? Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous no name on it not that i would buy them to ship anyway unless they were worth millions of dollars but that blue is gorgeous i don't sell a lot of baskets because i don't really find a lot of unique ones but i always like looking because i do pass them by quite often and who knows i may be passing by something that's worth some money now well, that's interesting looking is that supposed to be? No. It's got a lot of peeling on it. I like the colors though, really pretty for Christmas. Uh, who makes this? Uh, I don't see anything. Uh, I don't know if I don't want to put the time into getting all that off of there. Probably not. I like the colorway on this. I don't see a tag of who made it. It could be something just from Walmart or Kmart or something like that, but yeah, not seeing a tag. It is pretty. Oh, oh. For everything I'm getting ready to share with you, we only spent $30. We're going to quickly go through clothing. I do not know the prices that I'm going to put on these items, but if you're curious to look and check out my eBay store, I will leave it linked in the description box. Hopefully by the time you see this video, all these items will be listed. So at that first thrift store, it's a tiny thrift store, but the prices are amazing. And everyone who volunteers there is so sweet. I love going there. But I did find this men's straw hat. I think this is so beautiful, so classic. I would even wear this. I love my hats. This is McLean Hats New York. Has the leather headband on the inside of it. It is straw, has a beautiful, beautiful ribbon around there that beautiful it looks like sage green a little bit of burgundy so beautiful now there is one little tiny spot here in the front 
I will just get a little bit of maybe Dawn detergent and try to get that out of there. Hopefully it will come off. This ended up being, I think the hats were $2. I think it was $2. Ties. Ties and belts are something you can usually get uber cheap and you can sell them for a profit. Now you're not going to make millions off of stuff like this, but you will make a profit. And I always look for ties that are unique. I found one, it has the beautiful boats on it, the anchor, and that's not an anchor. What is that? It's the... It's the boat steering thing. You know, what you steer the boat with. Oh, that thing. Has a buoy on there. I think that's a buoy. Buoys. <laughs> I love the colors. That beautiful burgundy, the royal navy blue. That's not right. Navy blue. And I found another one. This just has a beautiful golf motif to it. This is Americana series golf nostalgia. Now these are not Ralph Lauren. They're not vineyard vines or nothing very expensive, but I do think that the design and the motif and the theme of boats and golf will sell these. And the ties were only 49 cents. I'm very picky when I pick up shoes at the thrift store. These are Steve Madden. This is, it still has the little tag on the bottom. I, I can't even tell anyone has worn these. Just a little bit of dirt on the bottom. It's like someone tried these on, didn't like them, and decided to donate them. But these are real fur cow hair, and it has a beautiful plaid design on the front of it. Now, there is a little smudge or discoloration on one of the toes. I think if I just take a little bit of diluted Dawn detergent and try to get that out, it'll come out. But these I can't even see where someone had their feet in them. I really don't have to do a lot of cleaning to these. Clean the bottom, get the little smudge off. They were only $2. And I don't even know how much I'm gonna price these things yet. I know Steve Madden is a really great name, but I do think just the colorway and the style alone will sell them. When I'm picking up clothing, I'm looking for unique. I don't really look for a lot of trendy stuff. Um, I look for stuff that is unique, that is vintage, something that makes a statement. The first is this diamond dust lion. And some of you are saying, that's ugly. Well, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. No, that's ugly. But it is unique. It's I think maybe from the 90s, maybe from the 80s, I'm not exactly sure, but I think this alone is going to sell it. And the shirts, oh, also when I walked into the store, there was a sign on the door that said winter clothing a dollar. But when I get in there, the lady announced that all the clothing was a dollar. So that's one reason I picked this up because it was a dollar. It'll probably sell maybe 15, 18 dollars, not really sure. And then I found this. The embroidery on here is so beautiful. There isn't a tag in this. I don't know who made this. I tried to use Google Lens. I couldn't really come up with anything, but I think the embroidery alone is going to sell this. It is very unique. It's an actually really great shape, but I love the color on here. But yeah, things like this are things I gravitate toward. Now, I personally may not wear stuff like this, but I know that other people love unique shirts. They love unique clothes. So that's usually why things like this I'm drawn to, attracted to, and I usually pick up. I also look for brightly colored clothes, especially if there's a really great logo or a splash of color or something very interesting on here. I believe this is from the 90s, maybe the 2000s. I don't really remember, but it is from the brand Gotcha, and it's a little crop top, but I I just love it. It really, to me, it is a throwback to the 80s, that really bright color. That attracted you know, me to this shirt, along with it being only a dollar. I have mentioned before, I pick up anything during the year and sell it. If it's March, I will sell stuff that is supposed to be for Christmas, Halloween. It doesn't matter because people are always looking for things like that. Well, I found these two pair of pants. One is from Coldwater Creek. The other is Chico's. I loved the look of them. To me, these are holiday pants. These are party pants. Who's ready to party? These are look at me pants, you know, for the holidays. You go to the in-law's house and you really want to stand out and stick it to your sister-in-law that you really never liked. That's too much information. But I love these. I think they are so beautiful. I mean, you could really stand out in an office party. Like I said, a family gathering. Get your party pants on, girl. And then this one, the gold and the black. Once again, I was attracted to them. I would, I would wear these. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, you have a little shindig. You want to kind of show up and show out. These are the pants you need. The second thrift store. 
I fell in love. Now, I've been to this thrift store for over 20 years. I've been going to this one. I love it. But they had a sale, and they still have a sale going on all through March. It's called March Madness, where on Thursday and Friday, the clothing, the housewares, I forgot what else, is 75% off. Plus, they have a few other sales in other departments. I couldn't believe it. And what I'm getting ready to share with you, and I still have the, the hard goods to share with you, all the home decor I found, I only spent $9 at that thrift store. $9. So what you see right here, plus some of the hard goods, I paid $9. $9. I'm in heaven. So yes, on Thursdays and Fridays through March, you'll find me at this thrift store. I found this beautiful, classic Tommy Hilfiger shirt. The beautiful stripes. It has the beautiful logo. I love this. I don't remember the original price, but just keep in your, in your mind that everything was $9. So this was uber, uber cheap. Very classic. Very great condition. Quality. You can feel the quality in this, and that's the reason I picked it up. I have a thing for picking up sweaters. If you haven't figured that out by now, I do. I love unique sweaters. Even though they're sweaters I may not love, I can appreciate them. I may not wear them, but I see the quality. I see the craftsmanship. I see all the time and care that was put into a lot of these. So that's the reason I picked them up. I hate to see stuff like this go into the landfill. The first, just the detail alone on this, is so gorgeous. This is Marissa Christina. I think that is so beautiful. Would I wear this? Maybe not, but I know someone else would, but I can appreciate it. When I pick things up in the store, I don't necessarily pick them up because I like them, but I can see quality and craftsmanship and I know someone else would appreciate it. That's the reason I pick up a lot of these items. I'm not shopping for me, I'm shopping for all of you. So think of me as your own personal shopper. I will shop for you. And once again, thinking about the holidays, look at this. This is so gorgeous. This is Tally Ho. It is, what is this made out of? It's only acrylic, it's not wool. But look at that. That is so stinking beautiful. I love this. And like I said, I hate to see something like this thrown away because someone else thinks it's ugly. It is not ugly. The quality in here is just amazing. This next sweater I would wear. This is giving me cottage core, grandma core, granny, whatever you want to call it. How stinking adorable is the sweater? Very cottage core, very granny chic. It is so beautiful, but the quality and the craft Craftsmanship. It is just fantastic. I love this. This is by the Import Workshop. I would wear something like this with a little pair of jeans and a little pair of boots. Well, not a little pair of jeans. I don't wear a little pair. I like boots and I cannot lie. But jeans and a little pair of boots I think would look so cute with this. But yes, all of these are fantastic. Don't know what I'm going to price them at just yet, but I fell in love with these three. And speaking of things that I may not necessarily wear, but I know someone else will love, is this beautiful ladies western shirt. It has the buttons on here, the pearl buttons. It is small. It is Western Trends by Panhand Pan Western Trends by Panhandle Slim, and it is slim. They weren't lying. This is a slim fit. Kind of makes me feel like I'm Woody's girlfriend on Toy Story. Don't eat too much. You might pop a button with this shirt on. But even for Halloween, this would be really cute to dress up as a little cowgirl. And Made in the USA, which is not something you find often. Usually when I see that Made in the USA tag, that lets me know this is probably vintage. But look at that. It is precious. This is something I would wear. Look at this. Vintage L.L. Bean dress. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Why is it... I pick up this cute stuff and I can't keep it. Oh my gosh, this is the L.L. Bean dress. I love it, but I can't keep it. We need the money. We need the money. But my gosh, with like some tall boots on. Why does everything have to be so cute? I guess it's like a houndstooth kind of print on here, black and white. It is so beautiful. I can't tell what the size is because it's been washed quite a few times, but it is L.L. Bean. Look at that. Does it have pockets? <gasps> it's even more magnificent than I imagined. 
Oh my gosh, it's got pockets. You cannot go wrong with a dress or a skirt with pockets. <gasps> I love this. And this last piece of clothing, I wanna keep for myself. I wanna keep it for myself. I looked at this and fell in love with it. <sighs> oh my goodness, it is Giorgio Sant'Angelo. I probably butchered it. So beautiful, made in Romania. Let's see, I do believe it is 100% wool. Yes, 100% pure wool. Look at this, that beautiful houndstooth print. Now this is something I did look up. I was gonna get it anyway. I looked it up. Some people are selling these anywhere between 75 and $90. It's fan freaking fantastic. I'm telling you, I'm fighting to not keep this, but if I can get $90, Sure, we'd rather have the money. And now we get into the good part, all of the hard goods. And I have no idea what this is. This was at the second thrift store. $6 was 75% off. Oh, I'm telling you, if it were six, I wouldn't have picked it up because I'm not sure what it is. Now, it looks like for water or olive oil, I'm not sure. I don't smell anything. And it does have writing on here. I plugged in everything I could not figure out. And I still can't figure out what this is. There is a stamp on here, but it's right here on the darker glaze. So I, I have no idea what it says. I have no idea, but I'm still gonna sell it because no matter what, it's still a beautiful piece of pottery just to put on the shelf in the kitchen, put on the shelf anywhere really. But I'm just, I don't know what it is. Now it does have a date on here, 1989. I don't know if someone picked this up. Um, I don't know where it came from. On a vacation somewhere, it's just like a souvenir. I don't know. And it's just, it's irking me that I don't know. But for, what's that? A dollar fifty that I pay for? Dollar fifty? I'll figure it out and we'll sell it. Also at that second thrift store was this beautiful little piece of Italian. Is that is that porcelain? Is that what is that? But it does say made in Italy. It was fifty cents. Was seventy five percent off. So what is that? Twelve cents. Twelve cents. And the last piece of home decor I picked up at the second thrift store is this glass dolphin. It was two dollars and fifty cents. Was seventy five percent off. I can't find anything wrong with it. Now, it's not like a, is it Baccarat, Baccarat, Baccarat? Baccarat, Baccarat. The more you know. It's not from that manufacturer because I don't see it anywhere inside of the glass, but still you could use it as a paperweight, a little thing on your shelf somewhere. A paperweight would make this would make a really good paperweight, but I love the color of it. And for $2.50 was 75% off. I just brought them on home with me. So at that second thrift store, all the clothes right here, plus those three pieces of home decor, $9. $9. I cannot wait to go back this Thursday. But at that first thrift store, that's where Sherry struck gold. We're gonna be rich! Found three pieces. This is Vitri. Vietri. V I E T R I. Vitri? Vitri? Vietri. Made in Italy. What I like about these pieces is that you can also hang them on the wall. They have the holes in the back of them. This right here, it's of a turkey, a little Thanksgiving platter. Now, when you kind of move it around, you see there are lines underneath the glaze. They're not cracked. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way. Um, I will, you know, share that in the description of the listing. I could not find one just like this. I will pop up some comps I found that are similar to this, but these pieces from this company, hundreds of dollars. So I'm thinking someone just donated their collection of these plates. Maybe they had them hang on a wall and they didn't want them anymore, but that's okay. Sherry wanted them. Another piece from that same collection, that same maker, this beautiful squirrel. You can see, you can hang it, has the little holes in the back. I don't think I've ever seen that in a plate before like that. Made in Italy, so beautiful, but $3. And I'm gonna pop up on the screen how much the last one sold for. $129, $129. This series for this and the next one I'm gonna sh share with you is Into the Woods. Into the Woods is the, I guess the collection. 
This squirrel is so beautiful, $3. So if I can turn this three into a hundred, if I could turn this three into $75, I'll be happy. And this was the first one we found, this Ram. When I first saw it, I'm thinking, is this, you know, Mackenzie Childs? Because, you know, she has that Harlequin print, all those diamonds on her teapots and a lot of other items she sells. Beautiful Ram to it. And when I looked this up, also going, for hundreds of dollars now used maybe a hundred but it also has the hooks on there where you can put it up on the wall made in italy vitri vitri something like that i love this when i first saw this i was going to get it no matter what but after looking at the comps and then going around the corner and finding more of it whew, sherry almost started dancing in the middle of the store I feel like dancing. So in total, we spent $30 at both thrift stores. And I'm hoping to make maybe a few hundred, if not more, off of everything I picked up. We're starting off the month of March with $200. I just spent 30 at both thrift stores, which means we have 170 that we need to stretch to last through the rest of March. But if I can keep going to that one sale where it's 75% off on Thursday and Friday through the month of March, I think uh, I think Sherry's gonna make some good cha-ching. Money, 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 money. Since my inventory is growing, I am gonna be preparing a little warehouse downstairs, but I am gonna have to raise some money to do a few things down there. So that will be a video I'll be sharing hopefully within the next few weeks. If you are new to my channel, I have no idea what I am doing. I started in January with zero dollars i sold items i already had on hand to make an initial five hundred dollars and with that money i put into getting a gopro and to putting into thrifting to find more items to flip for a profit i'm trying to earn enough money to do the flooring in my kitchen i need four thousand dollars and right now i think we have $37 in renovations. But hopefully the more I grow my eBay store, the more money I can make and the more money I can put back to renovations. If you want to catch up on my Starting From Zero series, I'll leave that playlist right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.